deze in? Oh. On the ocean, just adds a bit of atmosphere. But we've um, by no means uh, packed out here, so we've got room for ourselves to do our thing. And Mr. Matthew Pallard, the guest of honor, is in a very good shape today. So looking very spunky. Uh, I think he must have had a very good night's sleep. And uh, probably a okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my salad class. We're going to make a very basic salad. Uh, this, these ingredients were recommended by our host, Mr. Matthew Carlyle. And so I'll just take you through. First of all is the spring mix, which is washed and ready to eat. The main problem will be opening that up. Now we have two tomatoes. And what's interesting here is that we have the special, uh, the two different varieties that you can buy at the supermarket. So there you are. That's the regular one. And what's this one called? Does anyone know? Roma. 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 That's right. It's a Roma. I don't know why. Whether it comes from Rome or... Uh, oh, and the third ingredient will be a capsicum, which under a cloth will be used for other purposes. And we have got beetroot and olives as well. Capsicum or a cucumber? That's right. So I, I think uh, in my method I will start with the, uh, the lettuce and uh, it's a, uh, what is it? It's a spring mix. So I don't know what's in here. Let's have a look. Um, hmm. Oh, the ingredients are a combination of baby lettuce, leaves, salad herbs and baby spinach. Mm. Sounds very promising. So you won't get it all in here. Uh, do we have a large salad bowl, Susan? No, we don't. But uh, I believe our host, Mr. Matthew Carlyle, does not actually have a salad. No, he won't. So it'll just be the three, three of us. Uh, and so we, we've got... Um, okay, let's open up. So we've got six fish pieces. So Matthew will have two and the rest of us will have one and a half. I think. And then we've got the mash there, we'll mash and then we'll add in Matthew's veggies as well a bit later when those gets cooked. So I was hoping to use my bigger, I've got a bigger one of these um, but it doesn't fit on with big sauce. So I had to wait. And I, I need to have a what is called a, a food peg bag, a food bag peg. For when you have the situation, and Matthew would be very, very familiar with this, and that is when you have a container of food and you don't use it all up, you have to peg the bag. And I will show you now how this is done. You take the bag, which has salad in it, you squeeze out the air, because it is the air that will mainly add to the deterioration of your food. And who wants to have to go to the shop too many times in a week? And then we just peg it in the normal way. You slide it over like that. You need to ha have a bit of space so that there's enough able to just kick it into spot. And that, this process was taught to me by the master himself, Mr. Matthew Carlyle, who, as everyone will remember, has been uh, very well known in the area of cooking. Well, he had his own um, um, store, didn't he? His own store. That's right. There was talk of a TV series, but the negotiations fell through when his uh, sponsor, Mr. Scott, uh, what was Scott's full name? Scott the Ship Greek? Sides. We, we don't give you surnames, do we? Uh, Scott uh, was a wonderful carer in the uh, company of Matthew and encouraged him in various entrepreneurial skill uh, uh, activities. Matthew even learned four wheel drive, how to drive a four wheel drive, didn't you, Matt? Right. In the sand. 
They did a four-wheel drive course together. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Lucio Carlisle is well known. The veg veggies bubbling away, and then we've got these cooking away in here. I'm not cooking them on really high heat because they came from frozen. And then we've got a little bit more of um, is this got curry in it? This one, or just I'm not sure. I didn't make it. Okay. That was a stir fry. Okay, so it stir fry right now. It might have quite nice flavouring. So I think what we'll do, Matthew, is your little bit of veggies that you bought. Put in with the others and it'll give it a nice flavour. Because otherwise we just have salt and pepper in our mash. The present Matthew. Happy birthday, Matthew. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. So if you can get your hand in. It's your birthday boy. Grab it. What could it be? <gasps> it's a speaker, a Bluetooth speaker. That's amazing. So when you're sitting outside, Matthew, you can set up your own um, uh, playlist on your phone on Spotify. And then they'll play on the speaker, and so you can chill out to the music that you choose. And if staff want something to do with you, they can help you set up your playlist on Spotify. So, um, playlist one, playlist, playlist two. two. So, do we want to see if we can get into this? Very nicely protected in its um, little package. Well, it's not too big. It's good. So you can Matt, I've had to take out all of the um, music that was playing on your speaker, including us singing happy birthday because we had background music for that. So sorry about that. Copyright reasons. Thank you. 